Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. I'd like to start this week's episode off by actually telling you a bit more about how all of this began. When I was eight years old, we went on a family holiday to Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. Now, if you've ever stayed on a resort around the Red Sea, you'll know that a lot of the hotels there pride themselves on their fantastic house reefs. Incredible drop-offs, the most amazing array of colors you can ever imagine, fish everywhere. But this hotel was not one of those hotels. It actually only had a fairly pathetic lump of coral and hardly any fish. But what was there was a family of Klungzinger's wrasse. Now I say family because I had convinced myself that there was a mum fish, dad fish, baby fish. And every day me and my family would walk along the pier and I would float above this lump of disappointing coral for hours and hours and just watch this family. And I pretended they have this whole life and it completely fascinated me. From that holiday, I went home and I decided from that moment that I was going to be a marine biologist. Although at eight years old, I didn't really know what that would entail, but all I knew was that I wanted to do everything I could to learn about everything in the ocean so that I could do all that I could to protect it. I was completely in awe of this mysterious marine realm. So for this week's Tune In Tuesday and for the two weeks following this one, I'm going to be doing a three-part mini-series following a recent trip we had returning to the Red Sea. This time we stayed in Master Alam. This week's Tune In Tuesday is going to follow the time that we spent with Kelowna divers. We spent three days straight with Kelowna divers and we had the best time ever, the most incredible diving I've ever done in my life. Now, as well as it being fantastic to see all of that marine life, Kelowna Divers is so special as well because they are taking extra steps and going the extra mile to further protect the marine wet realm. So after you've seen the video of all the clips of the underwater life, I'm going to say a bit more about what Kelowna Divers do to further protect it.
we at Colonna Divers, we are completely plastic free on our boats and we manage that by mainly for the soda because there's a lot of soda bottles here. We have glass bottles that we take up to a local town and refill with, uh, with cola and Fanta and Sprite and so on. And the water, instead of giving out water bottles, we have reusable plastic, hard plastic cups that the guests can take that we dish off, make dish afterwards and they can reuse them. And we have a big water cooler with a 18 liter tank of water that um, that we take take the water from and we do our best part when we're diving as well if we see any rubbish then we pick it up from the um, from the sea and so on and uh, we encourage our guests to do the same thing if they see plastic because we have the new hand sign for plastic that p that's plastic on the water then the guest should uh, should the guest or the guy should uh, should take it up whilst we are out on the water with Kelowna divers for the three days we spent with them we were so impressed with the lack of plastic that we were finding out and about on the water. There were a few plastic bags here and there floating around and the odd bit of fishing line that was entangled around the corals, but all of this we were able to remove and I know that the dive team are really focusing on keeping an eye out and making sure they're removing whatever plastics they can. So as you heard from Emil there, Kelowna divers are taking many steps to conserve the marine environment that they're so lucky to dive into every day. But here's a few more for you. Every day a plastic free lunch is provided with vegan or vegetarian alternatives. They're also providing plastic free teas and coffees with reusable mugs. The staff have a reusable drinks bottle and as Emil said, there are plastic free soda drinks available that are refilled. They also, on every dive brief, mention to never touch anything and all the divers are explained why this is important. They have a very extensive environmental policy which is always on show on the boat. The divers take part in Project Aware and Diving for Debris and they always encourage to just leave bubbles. For ourselves, we were also taking measures to make sure that we were doing our best to be as sustainable as possible on this trip. So we always had completely natural sun cream, as in lots of sun cream there are whole loads of additives that are really harmful to coral reefs. So if you're interested in getting yourself a natural sun cream, I've put the link to a really good one that we use in the description here. So now all is left is to just say a massive thank you to Kelowna Divers for, as I said, the best diving we've ever done in our lives. And also thank you to you guys for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday. As I said, for the following two weeks will be the other two parts of this Egypt series, so keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday and I'll see you next week for next week's episode.